I'm Gerard Zuchkin and I'm a lee sand on Savannah drilling rig 651. Well, a typical day for a Savannah lee sand will involve scrubbing insides and outsides of all the buildings. You could be helping with packing chemical bags for fellow coal workers. It could last for a good part of your shift. You definitely have to be capable of lifting objects up to 90 pounds each per piece. Definitely involves proper lifting techniques, otherwise you can get hurt sooner than you've ever wanted to. You can go from lifting heavy chemical bags all day to dragging hoses around for hours on end, transferring fuel or water. You can be working with your hands overhead for the better part of the shift. Getting tools, cleaning up tools, and back to housekeeping. Not very pleasant working in a filthy pair of coveralls. You want to maintain the overall cleanliness of your rig, not just for appearance, but for safety. All your walkways, all your stairways, you have to be kept as clean as possible to prevent any possible slips, trips, or falls. You're going to be working out every part of your body while you're out here, and you'll definitely feel it. You get paid very well on the rigs. It's a lot higher paying than any other average job you can get back at home in a city but you work for your money out here, you're away from home. Those are the sacrifices you have to be willing to make, to make that extra buck. I'm married and that's the hardest part for most guys is being away for extended periods of time. The guys out here, they work 20 days on, 10 days off, 10 days a night, 10 days after that. You're gonna be working from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day, 12 hour days. So on the rig floor, this is where both roughnecks will spend the majority of their time. That's where all the heavy tools, where all the tongs, heavy lifting, where all that is involved. And this is where probably the greatest potential for accidents is. This is where you need eyes all around your head. The motor hand, he's usually on the ground maintaining engines, organizing tools, pipe on the ground. He's got an endless amount of jobs that can keep him busy for an entire shift. Derek and we have them up there on the monkey boards while we're tripping pipe in and out. When he's not up there, he'll be back on his tanks maintaining his fluids and mud according to the plan. The drillers in the doghouse behind us here, he's controlling the rig with joysticks, hydraulics, electronics. The lee sand won't spend very much time up here on the floor. Again, housekeeping, fetching tools those basic duties. Until he moves up to a roughneck spot, that's when he'll spend more time up on the floor. Do you mind doing a fuel transfer? The rig's low on fuel here. Okay, for sure. Thanks, man. Yeah. There's plenty of opportunities for advancement within the company. If you're willing to put in the time, so long as you're hardworking, you'll continually progress. I definitely prefer working outdoors. I take that any day over an office job, personally. And it's pretty interesting to see how technology is advancing and what you can do with an oil well. It's my favorite part about the job. Savannah treats the guys really well. I'm happy working with them. I feel they take good care of their employees and overall it's a good workplace. <laughs>